What is going on guys? It's Johnny Two Thumbs 17 here bringing you the next part in my Magic the Gathering 2015 course set opening. Before we get to the video, I of course have to do my plug party. Be sure to like and favorite this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're on Facebook or Twitter, be sure to follow me. Follow my video game blog on Tumblr and follow me on Instagram. Things that are posted on Instagram that aren't posted anywhere else. There's a lot of mobile content, Puzzle and Dragons, Brave Frontier, War of Thrones, and so on and so forth. So if you want the full J Thumbs experience, be sure to add me on all those sites. The name is Johnny Two Thumbs 17. That's Johnny, the number two thumbs, the number 17. Those links will all be down below in the description. So you can find them there. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. I kind of messed with the setup this time, so it should be easier to see some of the cards and stuff. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, I think we got this figured out now. I think we got it set up. That will work. So we're going to go ahead and open this one next. Is this what I want to do? Yeah. See, I already see we have our first rare there. That's nice. So let's open up the pack. Hopefully I don't struggle this time. A little easier than the last one. I'm going to toss away the wrapper. And then let's take a look here. So I never know how to say this word. Is it Aegis or Aegis? Anyways, we have a rare angel here with flying. When he enters the battlefield, another target permanent gains indestructible for as long as you control the angel. That's pretty cool. It's a 5-5 five, five too, so it's pretty beefy. That's pretty awesome. Are these all going to be rare? No, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Because I don't think we had any rares in the last one. So this is a Mahamodi Jin. It's another flying, a 5-6 this time. Pretty cool. I like that artwork. That artwork is sick with all the fire. Very nice. Next card is Nightmare. Ooh. So its power varies here. Its power and toughness are equal to the number of swamps you control. That is cool. Oh, it's a, it's a horse. It's a nightmare horse. That's awesome. So this is definitely like a late game card. Gotta get those swamps going. Our next rare here is a Shivan? Shivan? Shivan Dragon. It's a 5-5 five, five flying. You can also give it plus one until the end of the turn. Nice little beefable card there. We have a Terra Stomper, an 8 8 Beast. It can't be countered and it has Trample. That is awesome. Not a huge fan of that artwork though, but that is a pretty cool card. You have an Uncommon here, a Sarah Angel. Has flying and vigilin vigilance, so attacking doesn't cause this creature to tap. That's nice. 4-4, four, four, pretty beefy. You can attack without tapping. That's awesome. Another un uncommon here, banishing light. Cool little artwork there. Looks like a sort of like a nebula. But I guess he's uh, banishing some sort of darkness. Oh, uh, let's see. It looks like there's a mouth there. Kind of hard to tell what he's doing. So you exile target non-land permanent until Banishing Light leaves the battlefield. So it's a it's a temporary remove. So that's okay. That's okay, I guess. Temporary remove. Little control action going. Last breath. Another exile. Power two or less, but its controller gains for life. So I guess you'd you'd probably want to use this on yourself, right? Exile one of your weenie cards, get four life. At least that's what I would think. Like I said, I haven't been involved in magic in a while, so my knowledge of strategy is going to be pretty off here. Here you go, a common instant. Creatures you control get plus two, plus one. Always nice little boost there. 
You have a loyal Pegasus is next. It's a common 2-1 with flying. But it can't attack or a block. It can't ta attack or block alone. Huh. I mean, I guess that's not horrible, but if you got this on like if you got this on turn one, it wouldn't be the greatest, I suppose. But if you're playing like a, a fast deck, this might be nice. Especially with that flying boost. We have a common instant, destroy target attacking or blocking creature. Got another one. Here we have chosen by Heliode. It's an enchant creature. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. And the creature gets plus two toughness. So that's all right. You get a, a card draw and some extra extra beefiness. Common instant. If you put two one one tokens onto the field. Again, if you're playing fast, that's always good. We have another exile target artifact or enchantment. Oh wait, no, this is different. The other one was uh. What was the other one? Banishing Light. This one is Revoke Existence. So this is to knock out an artifact or enchantment. Oresco Swiftclaw. Standard. Nothing fancy about it. It's a 3-1. Only costs 2. So again, if you're going for speed, something like that's always nice. You can do some damage, so you know, like turn 2. We have Flying and Vigilance here, Eagle of the Watch. A little bit more costly to one, but it also has the, the Vigilance and the Flying. So you get some added boost there. A Kinsbale Skirmisher is a 2 2 common. When it enters the field, you get to put a 1 1 counter until the end of a turn on a creature. God's Willing, common instant. Um, you gain color protection, and it has scry one. Not bad, not bad. Getting into some blues here. We have an uncommon instant, Jace's Ingenuity. Draw three cards. Nothing too fancy there. Into the Void. Return up to two target creatures to the owner's hand. Nice, nice control card there. Good to be annoying with. A Vaporkin is a common 2-1 that has flying. But it can only block creatures that have flying. So kind of a specific card there, I guess. Good for attacking, not much else. But I guess with one toughness, I guess you don't really need it to block unless you're boosting it. We have an Omen Speaker here. It's a common 1-3. It has Scry 2 when it enters the battlefield. Voyage End, just another control, just being annoying with the return creature to hand, and then it has a Scry 1. Little little added bonus there. Divination, draw two cards. Second Divination, divination. Pin to the Earth. Oh, this is, this is nasty right here. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets minus six, minus zero. For has two cost. It's a common. That that's pretty nasty. Minus six. Definitely be annoyed with that card. Cancel. Standard counter. Oh man, I can't speak today. Standard counter. Nothing too fancy there. Rise of the Eagles. We have uh, some more tokens here. 2-2 two, two tokens with flying and scry 1. Negate just has just a non-creature counter. Standard stuff. A frost links. It's a 2-2 two, two common. When it enters the battlefield, you tap target creature that an opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during the next untap phase. So just another additional way to be annoying there. Nullify, again, another sort of specified counter. Pretty typical blue stuff. 
Cloak Siren Flash. You may cast this spell anytime you can cast an instant. It has flying. 3 2 for 4. I guess that has some utility with the flash. You know, if you need like an emergency attacker, blocker, a little extra power or toughness. Getting into some black cards here, we got Bio Blight. It's an uncommon instant. Target creature and all other creatures with the same name as that creature get minus three, minus three until end of turn. So if your opponent has some duplicates, that's pretty nice. Ascendier Vampire, uncommon 4-4. Four, four. Flying, can't be blocked. Except like, oh yeah, creatures with flying or reach. Duh, that's kind of what flying means. <laughs> Whenever a creature dealt damage by this card dies, put a 1 1 counter on it. So if this, if you use this for like a finisher or some combo attacks, you can get this thing pretty beefy. We have Read the Bones, Sorcery, Scry 2, then draw 2 cards. You lose 2 life. So this is sort of the idea that you're using life as a resource. So this actually has kind of a Kind of a high cost then. So you have three mana plus two life just in order to rearrange the top two cards and then draw two cards. I feel like that's kind of a big sacrifice. Unless you're looking for something like like you needed a specific card at a specific time, like there was a big threat you needed to kind of deal with, but otherwise I feel like that that's a lot. We have the Combinant of Blood. Convoke. Your creatures can help cast this spell. Each creature you tap while casting the spell plays one colorless mana or one mana of the creature's type. It deals four damage to a target creature or player and you gain four life. Okay, okay. That's an interesting card. There's definitely some interest there. We have Walking Corpse. This is pretty standard, just a 2-2 zombie. Farika's Cure is a common instant. Deals 2 damage to a creature and you gain 2 life. Kind of a standard black card, I guess. A Cursed Spirit. It's a 3-2 common with Intimidate. It means it can't be blocked by artifact creatures or creatures that share a color with it. That could come in handy in certain situations. Child of Night is a 2-1 vampire with lifelink. Damage dealt by this creature also causes you to gain that much life. So if you could boost this, that's pretty nice. Next up we have a common instant, Flesh to Dust. Destroy target creature, can't be regenerated. Pretty standard black spell there. Sign in Blood is a common sorcery. Target player draws two cards and loses two life. So again, that's the idea that you're using life as a resource, which is something that took me sort of a long time to realize. Because I always thought, oh, life, my life needs to be protected. But no, you use it as a resource to win the game. So you have a second Sign in Blood there. Mind Draw, this is a classic card. I have this card from a different set. I think it's the exact same artwork as well. Target player discards two cards. That's a classic black card right there. Crippling Blight. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets minus one, minus one, and can't block. That's not bad. It's pretty cheap, too. March of the Returned is up next. It's a common sorcery. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. That has some utility if you need to, if you have cards where you need a sacrifice, you can bring them right back to your hand. Into some red cards now. We have a uncommon instant, Searing Blood. Deals two damage to a creature. When that creature dies this turn, it then deals three damage to the controller. So that's a nice finishing card, because you get the damage to the creature, then the damage to the player. That's very nice. You have an uncommon dragon here, a furnace whelp. Not a fan 
of that dude's head. It looks kind of derpy to me. 2-2 two, two flying. If you pay one mountain, he gets plus one, plus zero until the end of turn. Nothing too fancy there. A two-headed Cer Cerberus? Cerberus. Two-headed Cerberus. It's a 1-2 with double strike. I guess if you could beef it up, it's not too bad. But it also has, so double strike has first strike and regular. That's nice. So you could take out some, you know, weaker cards. And then if you could bust, if you could bust it, if you could boost it, that's pretty nice. You have a common enchantment here, Dragon Mantle. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Enchanted creature has pay one mountain. This creature gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Standard stuff. Seismic Strike, common instant. Seismic Strike deals damage to the target creature equal to the number of mountains you control. That's a good like late game, mid to late game card. We need to deal a lot of damage or yeah, to take out you know like a big threat. That's nice. A Minotaur Skull Cleaver is up next common creature with haste whenever it enters the battlefield you get plus two plus zero until end of turn that is pretty nice actually especially with the haste so when this first comes in you basically get a you have a, a four two attacker right away lightning strikes up next pretty standard red card do a little damage to a creature or player you have another one Follow the hammer. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to another target creature. That's pretty nice. Pretty solid card there. You have a bolt of Karanos up next. Common sorcery. Deals three damage to a target creature or player. Plus you get scry one. Blade Tusk Boar is up next. Has Intimidate and it's a three two. We got Magma Spray, deals 2 damage, if the creature would die this turn, it's exiled instead. And the last one with this is a Borderland Marauder, common creature, 1-2, but whenever it attacks, it gets plus 2. So attacking, it's really a 3-2. That's actually pretty, that's a, I'd say that's a nice card, I like it. So that does it for that pack. We have one more to go and then the boosters. Hey guys, it's Johnny Two Thumbs 17 here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully the new camera setup worked a little better this time than the first video. I know the first video was kind of blurry and stuff, so hopefully this one was better. Uh, before you leave, I of course want to do my plug party. Once again, be sure to like and favorite this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're on Facebook or Twitter, be sure to add me. Follow my video game blog on Tumblr and follow me on Instagram. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday, hopefully, with uh, the next part of the pack opening. Uh, until then, I'll catch you guys next time.